Good morning everyone. I've got the keys to this brand new GT3. I'll show you all the mods that I did to this car and I'll let you hear the flat 6 9000 RPM red line. But first, let's do a cold start. Pretty loud. 4 liter and a machine. Let's go guys. Good day everyone, welcome back to Importo Cup channel where stock is always boring. My name is KBH. Today guys, I have a brand new 992 GT3. I'll show you all the mods that I did to this car. Let's check it out. So basically, all the exterior mods of this car, we changed the plastic to this 9design carbon fiber panels. So 9design is a US company made by 1016. It specializes in uh, Porsche products. It compromises with this two-part uh, front bumper insert and the front chin. All carbon fiber. Look at the quality, guys. So this carbon hood is from 9design as well. Look at the fitment. It's all perfect. The white decals all over the car is made by my buddy, Archie of uh, Second Skin. So basically, he wrapped the car with Magnus Pro PPF. Then I asked him to do a white decal. It complements the wheels. My favorite mod of this car is this Brixton Forge three-piece design. They call it Targa Series three-piece. The model is PF10 RS. This is the first time we did a white wheel configuration because the owner requested he wants a racing look there's blue accents all over the wheels we wrap this with michelin sport cup 2 tires measuring 265 35 20. the rear is measuring 21 then the front is 20 so star guard sizing then we made the widths of the tire 10 mm wider normally you can spec out the porsche gt3 with the carbon fiber mirrors from Porsche, but this particular car didn't have it. We installed this from 9design. The side skirt is from 9design as well. Then the white decal continues all the way to the side with the GT3 logo. Yesterday, this was body color. I told Archie that I wanted it black to match the Porsche logo text and also the Porsche logo GT3 text at the backside. The stock GT3 comes with a 315-30-21 tire. So we made it wider too. More traction, better control. This comes with the carbon ceramic brakes, guys. Yellow calipers for Porsche means ceramic brakes. This whole wing and the wing ends are all carbon fiber. The engine lid cover is carbon fiber. Then for the rear, the rear diffuser, and the rear upper bumper insert. This goes all the way almost one third of the car. It's super long, the Akrapovich exhaust. I'll show you how it sounds now, guys. It sounds really, really good. It's one of the best options that you can do for this car. Funny thing is the owner has two exhaust system. He wanted to try this first, but later on we will change it to a decline innovation in Canal exhaust. I'll show you guys how this car sounds. Hear that? All the way to 9,000 RPM, guys. So we all know that the Porsche GT3 is mainly a track-focused car, guys, from Porsche. But I'll give you my honest feedback if you daily this car. So 
to be honest, right now, it's kind of noisy inside. Oh, you can hear the mechanical LSD when you turn left and right. It's not super comfortable. Well, the seats for me is okay. Not much padding, but it's okay. I, I like it. It's actually hard to get in and out of this car, but when you're inside, it's okay. The seating position is perfect. It's not too low for my liking. Some people find it too low, but for me, it's just right. It holds you. The bolster is really good. Side bolster is good. The windows, it's thinner than normal. One thing that I love about this interior, it has this lever. It looks like a manual shifter, but this is automatic. It's like a race meets luxury interior vibe here. The steering wheel is Alcantara. The store handle is Alcantara. This has the optional roll cage. And also, it has the fire extinguisher. I've done so many GT3s in the past. Um, if you can check out my Instagram feed, it's kbh underscore underscore kbh. You can see a lot of GT3 and GT3 RS that I modified before, but we've never had one in this channel. And I'm excited to show you guys how it drives. Downshifts. That sound. So the biggest talking point of this 992 GT3 is their double wishbone setup. You can do more camber, thus making this car grip more. So basically, that's the main difference from the previous 991 generation, and I can honestly feel it, guys. You can compete with like the Pistas or the Huracan STO, it's one of the best that you can buy right now. This car rides stiff and it rides busy. It's busy because it follows the road condition. So if it's like the angle is going to the right, the car goes to the right. But this car has this adaptive dampers. You can go stiffer or like this is in the normal mode, which means that this is the softer setting. Then traction control, you can turn it on and off here. This is the lift option. You can hear the hydraulic lift and pump. If you lift a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, it takes forever. Also McLaren, but this one, look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Around five, six seconds, it's done already. The owner of 9design, which is 1016 Industries, Peter, asked me to shoot this car because this is the first 992 GT3 in the world that sports their kit and I'm so happy that we're the first here in the Philippines. This is technically a brand new car because it has only 903 kilometers on the odometer guys. Can you believe it's all modified already? You can toggle with the drive modes here. So normal, sport, then track. So we're in sport. The valves are open. So it's nice to hear the flat six four liter engine, guys. The stock is producing 510 horsepower and 470 Newton meters of torque. This is actually 10 horsepower more than the old one. It shifts fast. It's actually one of the best transmissions ever, PDK. If you compare it to a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, this is way, way faster. Yeah. There, instant. Downshift, downshift. Virtually no delay. No delay. This is another level, guys. And the sound that this car produces with this Akrapovich exhaust is Wow, even better if it's <laughs> the windows down. This car is a precision machine, guys. The sound, the power, everything is crazy. One more. Ah, this is so addicting. One more. Normally we just do one or two pulls, but this one, I want to keep on doing it. <laughs> Damn! The 
downshift sound. <laughs> no worries, man. This car will be displayed at the Michelin booth uh, this coming Manila Auto Salon, November 24 to 27. So I'll see you guys there. <laughs> 